Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of talking about kayaks with Ali. So in one of my live stream, House Outdoors, asked me a question, what kayak should he get under $600? And I was like, what? I, I was blanked. I couldn't answer the questions. So I went over to ACK.com and started looking at the kayaks and I noticed that there was like only one or two kayaks, fishing kayaks, under $600. So I decided to make this video. Actually, this is a series of video. This one is gonna be fishing kayaks under 500 bucks, and then we're gonna move to higher prices, 600, 1,000, 2,000. It's gonna be a series, so make sure to follow the playlist. It's gonna be the first video. All right, guys, so let's talk about the first kayak in this list. We're talking about the Perception Pescador 10. This kayak retails for $500. It's 10 feet long, 32 inches wide. It holds, I think, about 300 pounds, and it only weighs 57 pounds. So you can see there that this boat is already not designed for everybody. It's designed for people that are maybe under 200 pounds and don't take a lot of stuff with them with them fishing. But the great thing about this is that it's an excellent price. You're still gonna have some of that stability and Padability, is that, is that padability, and this kayak offers some excellent things for fishing, like molding rod holders. It has a nice padded seat. It has a cup holder, gear tracks, and you're also gonna be able to park your paddle on the side with a bungee cable. So that's pretty good. I mean, you're not gonna get any of the super fancy things because it's five hundred dollars. So now let's get into kayak number two. Hey guys, so this video has been sponsored by Exter. Let me just tell you why I like this thing. You press this little thing here and your car comes out, just like that. If you wanna buy one of these for yourself, there's a link down below, it's gonna take you to their page. It's an affiliate link. If you use my special code, AliEx15 or 15, or just, just read it, okay? <laughs> You're gonna say 15%. Enjoy the video. We're talking about one of my favorite kayaks ever, the Pelican Sentinel 100X. This thing is loaded with fishing fishers. It has flush mounted rod holders, it has cup holders, cell phone holder. Is that a fishing fisher? I don't know, it doesn't matter. It has a nice distance side tank well. It weighs nothing, it has carrying handles in the front and the back. It's super fast, you can paddle really fast. It's not gonna be super stable if you stand up. But I, I stood up and I was able to cast, but I don't recommend that. But it's it, what I love about it is that it's so easy to use, so light, so stable when you are sitting on it. I have taken it fishing in the Keys and in a bunch of different places and I totally love this boat. And for $369, it is a buy. Now there are few versions of it. I, Dick Sporting Goods, they have a version that doesn't have all the fishers, but it's less money. So, you know, just, see what you could find out there but this boat is excellent now let me just give you some of the specs it's nine feet and six inches long it's about 30 inches wide only holds about 275 pounds some other places says that it holds 300 pounds but just to you know clarification pelican says 275 pounds and it only weights 45 pounds like 45 but like you could carry that thing and just like go you know do like go like this Amazing boat, totally 100% recommend it. All right, so the next boat on this list is the Lifetime Tamarack Angler 100. And the name says it is 10 feet long. It's about 31 inches wide, holds about 275 pounds, kind of like the same as a Pelican, and it weighs 57 pounds. Now that is pretty much all these kayaks are on, it's gonna retail for 300 bucks. You could buy it on Walmart, but as you can see, there's a pattern here. All these kayaks that are 10 feet long and they're 30 to 32 inches wide and they hold 275 to 300 pounds. So they're designed for smaller people or somebody who maybe is 250 pounds but they don't take a lot of stuff with them fishing. Now this boat offers two flush mounted rod holders. It has accessory rod holder you can put in the front. You also have molded in foot rests which I'm not a big fan of. And I didn't mention before but the other two kayaks that we cover here, they do have adjustable foot rest. That's a plus. But this one is molded in. I'm not a big fan of it. But I love, you know, it's, it's a way to cut cost and 
you may not care but i want to have the adjustable footrest just in case i want to do something with it like maybe adding a motor this boat also have carrying handles and cup holders and also places to park your paddle and some of the packages do include the paddle but now those paddles are not the best you may want to upgrade that but anyways this is an excellent value a lot of people love this boat and maybe i should get one and uh do my normal you know my normal kind of review stuff that i do here like take it fishing and flip it and put a motor and do all the stuff should i do that let me know comment down below so the next kayak that we have here on this list is the vive skip jack is that how you say skip jack whatever 90 this boat is nine feet and six inches long it's it's not super long it's not even 10 right but it looks great it offers a lot of fishers and it, it looks like they took time to design this boat it i like it you know like if you have a small child or you just want to have a kayak to throw on on the bed of your truck and you still want to feel like you have kind of like a luxury kayak this may be the one for you it retails for 509 dollars which is more than the 500 bucks limit for this video but i seen it on sale for like a hundred dollars off or something like that so it's less than $500. Right, so let's talk about some of the specs of this Skipjack 90. So it's nine and a half feet long. It's about 32 inches wide, holds 300 pounds, and it weighs about 46 pounds. So this may be the most stable of the bunch, although stability is like something that has a lot to do with who the individual is. Like if you're a smaller guy, you may be stable on a little, on a six foot kayak, you know what I mean? If you're a bigger guy, a 12 foot kayak may not even be stable for you. So that's kind of relative. Now, I'm gonna make that video for bigger people. Like if you're over 300 pounds, what are the best solutions for you? These kayaks are now one of those. For sure this thing is loaded with the rod holders there are moldering rod holders like i have like four of them it has moldering handles in the front and the back and also in the in the middle i love moldering handles because they make it easy to be able to get this boat and tie it down to whatever kind of vehicle you have like if you're able just to tie the boat from the front or the, or the sides it's just pretty amazing but it also it's only weighs 46 pounds that, that's that's also a big plus it has a padded seat and also it has kind of like um a gear plate in the front that you could put your scotty mount or maybe like a, an hd port or maybe something from yak attack uh, so that's awesome it has the inserts that's up that's that's what i was talking about this thing has like little details that that say wow like all these copper holes they they offer you this copper plugs on a 500 dollar kayak and it also includes a paddle so this is a tremendous value crazy crazy value from by if you want like a smaller boat and you don't want to spend that much money you have a bigger budget you're looking to spend more money on kayak fishing check this video here and also i'll see you next time